So here I'm walking in between the tracks, in between the cliff and the river Kwai on my, on my right side. This is our arrival at the Tam Krasay Bridge, located along the infamous Death Railway in Thailand's province of Kanchanaburi. The first of only two daily trains with destination of Nam Tok, just northwest of here, slowly rolls over the historic bridge sections and in between the river Kwai below and the steep hills on the other side. While this train is packed with tourists, many of them only boarded at the stop just before the river Kwai bridge station just over an hour ago. Most tourists here decide not to do the entire trip by train, but instead opt for a bus to take them back and forth between Bangkok and Kanchanaburi before hopping on the train for the most important part of the journey. If you have seen my previous video, I have linked it in the description and I will put up a card in the upper right corner, you know that my original plan for today was to get off at the River Cry Bridge. But only after seeing how the location actually looked, more like a circus than a historic site, I decided to stay on the train. After not getting off at the correct station for my train ticket, I confirmed with onboard staff whether an additional payment was needed, but that wasn't the case. Any trip on this train and the later one in a day will always have a fare of 100 baht, at least at the time of recording late 2022. Early 2023, the ticket price for foreigners was increased to 120 baht. Still a steal for this 4 hour trip, 5 even if you stay on it all the way to Nam Tok. The twice daily trains on the single track are ordinary class train numbers 257 and 259 that depart from the historic Tumburi station in Bangkok to Nam Tok. While trains are named ordinary, the route they use is anything but. This is the river Kwai and you'll probably hear all the people behind me. That's right, because there's a shitload of trespassers on the track here. Yeah, I'm going to do that as well. Very touristy location. But this is part of the infamous death railway. Let's get things going and make a little walk here. When watching, keep in mind this location is located in a river valley and is stuck in between a river and a hill. There was no breeze to speak of and there were blue skies with a scorching sun throughout. It was about 40 degrees Celsius here, that's 104 degrees in freedom units for those not counting from 0 to 100. The Tam Krasay cave, which of course houses a small temple, is only that, a little cave. But since it's protected from the direct sunlight, it's also a place where you can catch your breath for a bit. Therefore, the small walkways from and to the cave can be pretty busy. Outside of the shrine, there is not much of information on the actual railway itself here, so we soon continue to the main attraction. I said attraction indeed, as this location is not much more than that, unfortunately. You visit this place only to walk the bridge once the train has passed and to grab a quick lunch before heading out again. This is the most famous part of the bridge where it cuts along the cliff and the river Kwai. It's safe to walk here. There will only be a in about one and a half hour, the one I'm taking back. Otherwise, I don't have a train anymore today. Most tourists don't walk this far because it's uh, very hot and humid in this river valley. So here I'm walking in between the tracks, in between the cliff and the river Kwai on my, on my right side. The farther you walk away, the less people you see. This is a tremendously tourist destination. Um, is it a representation of what it was? Well, climate probably is. I'm sweating like hell. 
But anything else? Not really. Let's see where we can go. My train back is in just over an hour. So I can walk a few hundred meters in this terrible heat. Imagine being enslaved, captured by the Japanese to force and make a railroad here. Oh. I just got off the train and had a talk with a Malaysian fella enjoying his pension. He has family here that never returned. And he told me a story that he went here voluntarily. He was asked to just get on a truck and drive to Burma to be paid. And apparently that was his thing. Um, this is a tourist destination, so I won't be alone. But I'm going to walk here, that's for sure. My little camera doesn't like this. No wind, humid environment. It just turned off. Like I said, the views are absolutely amazing. But the people that worked here on this railway track in the first place didn't come here for the views. They were forced. They were POWs. It is amazing though that you can just walk here. Although most likely that's not what the company wanted. This sign however might say, don't walk here you idiot. Those are cabins you can hire for the day. Once again, I don't see why you should stay at a place where tens of thousands of people have died, but oh well. <laughs>